If you love guitar and Dimebag Daryl, you're not going to want to miss this video. I'm doing some Pantera tone chasing. Got four amps, two cabs. Let's check it out. Another thing that's fun to talk about when it comes to Dimebag is how recognizable his tone is instantly. I mean, in my opinion, you know exactly when it's him. But also the fact of his tone varied so much from album to album. I mean, from Cowboys to Reinventing, you know, each one of those albums, it was totally Dime. That same scoop, sizzle, just aggressive, you know, tone yet different. I've been listening to some uh, some of his tones, the isolated guitar tracks, and they just sound gnarly. Like they're just, I don't know, it's hard to describe. So I was really trying to go for something like that. The tone that was on the positive grid that I used last week was off from Far Beyond Driven, an app match. And, you know, I got thinking, well, he didn't use the RGs on that. So I'm going to try to, you know, match this tone or try to see how close I can get to it. So that was kind of my starting point. I started there um, with the RGs and, you know, mic'd up the first one. Sounds pretty good. And I keep going. So I decide that I'm going to just run all the Randalls and compare them all through the cap. So what started out as a dime bag tone video kind of has become just a dime bag randall gear all out extravaganza so as far as the eq on the heads um no es mode running regular i got the gain about 75 percent so i got the mids pulled back around three um treble presence just past 50%, bass cranked up, and yeah, just did it that way. Live mic in the cabs, um, SM58 on the Jag cab, and then thought it'd be fun to move over and bust out the Rand Randall Century cab with the Celestians in there. And so we did the same thing, ran all the heads through that cab. So we got eight comparisons, um, demo video was the carpet model and I ran the same, nothing changes basically, you know, everything was through these heads. Uh, I didn't mess around to EQ each one. So you're getting a pretty true comparison from one head to the next, what they sound like. So one thing that's been talked about recently, um, I feel like a bunch of guys have kind of exposed the fact of amp heads the differentiation between one amp to another amp is not as much as say one cab to another cab so initially this was going to be i was just going to focus on the rg100 tweak you know the the pq3 and just see how close i could get it um but that didn't really it just wasn't close really at all so anyway at that point i thought it'd be fun to just compare all the heads. So that's what I did. And then once I did that, I figured it might be cool to compare all them again through the second, the Randall um, Celestian loaded Century cap. So that's what we got here. We got eight clips. And then at the end, um, I'll tell you guys what I think is closest to Dime Sound. And I think we got pretty close on this. So I'm pretty pumped about it. And uh, you guys let me know down in the comments which one you thought was closest. But uh, yeah, let's check those out now. Four amps, two cabs, dime bag tone chasing like you've never seen. Well, I mean...
sell it side by side, the RG80 and the carpet model, RG100ES. These two are just a year apart in production. Um, but yeah, they weren't side by side in that comparison, so I'd like to hear them right next to each other. Let's check that out right now. <laughs> Identical. You know, reading some old interviews and things, I remember hearing Terry Date talk about they used a lot of post EQ, different EQs to just really sculpt out the sound that we hear. Obviously, you know, the bulk of it is one, him, and two, his gear. But there was definitely some post EQ going on there. And I recently watched a video, uh, I think his name's Chris Cola, Cole Keller Studios. If I screwed that up, I'm sorry. But um, he's talked a lot about, you know, the speakers having a lot more, you know, variation in sound and tone from one to the other versus amps. But he did a tone, uh, dime bag tone video recently using a plugin and some different things. But I watched how he set up an EQ and I set mine up very similar and honestly, this is where a large part of Dime's sound, in my opinion, is sculpted out. So the main thing on the bus EQ is that we're scooping out the mids there. So around 700 hertz, and then we got some kind of more precision sculpting going between like 2500 and 4K. And then at almost 10,000 hertz, skyrocket and that's the sizzle that's like the you know the high-end stuff that he's getting out of it <laughs> the thing that i did find interesting and i didn't think about this until after I got what I thought was the closest sound to him is switching to the Celestion Loaded Century Cab with the RG100 head. And what I mean by that is that we know that he played the RG100 ES on Cowboys. I'm going to assume he used the Jag Cab for that one. But no one really talks about what cabs he used on these albums. Now we're assuming that he used the cab that came with the head. So the Century models, he would have got, you know, the Celestion loaded 4x12 cabs. Now, when he went back to the RG100 on Great Southern Trend Kill, what cab did he use on that album? If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. But based on what I found in this, uh, these comparisons... I almost feel like he was running that RG100 head through the Century cab. Um, to me, it just has that like that bite and that sizzle, um, you know that 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 cab just produces that those speakers produce uh, versus the Jag. The Jag is just much more mid heavy, in my in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that, or if you think there's any truth to it. But to me, the winner is the 85 RG100 ES through the Celestian loaded Century Cab. Aggressive Pantera dime, like essence, that sizzle and just scooped out. It's more scooped than the others. And uh, I don't know. That's the winner, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments on that one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what I missed, what you think about my thoughts and what I said. Um, if I was missing facts here and there, I'm sure I was. But um, Or if you'd like to see me go further with this and do some more. Obviously, I need to get my hands on some Century Amps, the 200s. That's, you know, I'm always on the lookout. Market's stupid, so I don't see it happening anytime soon. But anybody in Cali, SoCal, or anywhere in the West, um, yeah, man, I'd love to just at least borrow one and, and make some videos with it. But that will happen someday. I know it. And, um, yeah, until then, just going to keep doing this, keep riffing. 
I uh, got some original music coming at you guys actually here pretty quick. Um, start. I've been, been working on a video. I'm working on a song that was born from a riff challenge a long time ago, and I want to bust that out. So we got the holidays coming up. Still keeping some content going, but yeah, I want to spend some time working on that stuff. So hopefully uh, that video will be out soon. That's all I got. Um, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Catch you in the next one. Keep on riffing. Later.